I've always wanted my own animal factory, and I couldn't have picked a better place for animals. I think we should go with Dark Asphalt Path for absorbing and redistributing all that heat. And it's only fair we let the people know what they're getting into in my zoo. Twice. If they can survive climbing over a mountain in 39 degree heat, they can survive my zoo. Now I think it's only fair that we put the staff buildings over here. That way anytime they want to do anything at all, they need to prove their commitment of how badly they want to work here. It is a very prestigious thing to work at my zoo. I think we're going to go with some glass cages to start. Some lucky animals here are actually going to get a bit of shade. And we're definitely not going to have any animals escaping our zoo. Why can you make these so tall? Are we storing dinosaurs? I wouldn't complain with that. I'm just surprised we can make an 80 meter tall glass enclosure. I think I broke the height thing because it's not really going up anymore. My cage is still getting taller. Any animal that does escape this gets to own the zoo. It wins the zoo. This side only maxed out at one meters tall. Now there's only one kind of animal that needs a cage this tall. I guess the first animals we're actually going to need are employees. But what they don't know is they're actually going to be treated worse than the animals are. Because every task involves climbing over these. Look how excited he is to have our very first animal. Oh, and our first morons are arriving. Now let's see if he continues his enthusiasm all the way over the mountain. He's coming up on peak number one. Well, I bet that feels like quite an accomplishment. This is what he has to look forward to now. Also, I'm firing you if you take a break. For some reason, the ramps aren't super popular with the guests. Now, where's our hero at? Oh, look at that. He's about halfway. He'll be here at any time. And this is just for the delivery of a single animal. I hope it's going to enjoy the oven I built for it. Don't act like this wasn't super thoughtful. Don't worry. I added a single cooler and some bubbles. That should take very good care of my lone giraffe. Habitat is too small. Are we taking into account the height? Because I feel like it's got plenty of room. It's just not really big enough to use the vertical size yet. I feel like that's more of an opinion than a fact anyways. And until it starts to pull in the numbers, we're not giving it any upgrades at all. This was unintentional, but it's now going to be a feature for this high voltage cage, which naturally deserves some kind of super predator. Looks like I already have some fans and the only people willing to brave my staircase. Now we're getting somewhere. We got our first pandas. They're going to be so happy out here in the desert. And I gave them lots of climbing trees right against the electric fence because people paid to see excitement. Somehow my guests think the tickets are underpriced. So I'm going to lower the price to free. The price of admission is climbing a mountain. Now for some reason I'm not really seeing a lot of guests over here on this side of the zoo. If the animals can't lure the good people, a donation box certainly will. It is a free zoo after all. And we're going to put an ATM right beside the donation box so people get the hint. Well look who decided to show up should fire him for being so late. I forgot about bathrooms. No wonder there's nobody on this side of the world. Now, people basically have to come to this side of the zoo because this is the only bathroom. Plus, the information center belongs on this side as well. The protesters have dwindled down to two people. And for some reason, that number dropped to zero and we don't need to talk about it. See, the giraffe is perfectly happy. He's having a nap. Anyone who's having a nap is perfectly happy. And I assume these morons are going to take care of themselves for the most part. Apparently, they're not in their ideal temperature, which is weird because it's only 44 degrees Celsius. I believe an animal is balancing themselves out. That's why I gave them water. If they get hot, they'll use the water. Could you guys make a donation while you're here? My zoo isn't making a lot of money yet. I think it's time we make a big cage. Perfectly square. Dangerous animal has escaped. That's not dangerous, it's a giraffe. And I don't know how it got out, but that was pretty expensive. And I am woefully underqualified to deal with this. So it's going to be a free range giraffe now. The best I can do is put a security guard on it. Yeah, and he's all over this job. Um... Well, since you're in there already. Since he decided to make a break for it, we've upgraded to maximum security. Electric fence all the way around. Anyways, we should probably deal with this now. For some reason, we're allowed to put a guest gate in. I feel like there's a flaw in the security of this one, but the animals probably won't notice. I think the main problem with my zoo so far is the lack of variety of animals. Here we go. I just mention more animals and people come storming in. I guess I should probably give these animals some kind of basic necessities. Since we're going to have an assortment of animals, we're going to need an assortment of food stuff. But they could probably all share one bed to keep warm. And probably most importantly, the bubbles. These bubbles really are the secret to my success. It keeps the animals happy and cool. How did we end up with another panda in here? Pretty sure I ordered not pandas. I'm starting to think that all of my guests turn into protesters by the time they get here. Probably because they just climbed a mountain. There we go, a non-panda. And with also a panda, so they're probably going to get along pretty well. Look at him though, he loves the bubbles. He can't get enough of this place. They're going to be such good friends, I can already tell. Who are they even protesting to? There's nobody here. There's definitely a point at which everyone is just turning around because they just don't want to do any more stairs. So far so good with the animals. They seem to be playing nice together, though I haven't seen a flamingo in quite some time. Now, these are normally reserved for the animals, but I feel like the people need just a little bit of help to get over the mountains, so we're going to give them extra bubbles. I just received the notification that the bears are fighting, so clearly they're getting along pretty 
pretty well. I mean, of course they're gonna fight. They're bears. That's why I put the panda in there, the friendliest of all the bears. He'll set a good example. If these bubbles don't get people over the mountain, I don't know what will. I've turned up the speed to see where the people get stuck, and now I'm just getting a bunch of animal notifications. But I believe in animal diversity. Why should we segregate them? Look how happy the panda is to be walking next to an elephant. And we'll just keep bringing them in as fast as my idiots can carry them here. Can you guys not? You're setting a bad example for the panda. You broke the other bear. We'll call him the vet. I'm sure there's one somewhere nearby. The elephant's had enough already. He's taken off. Nope, he wants to go back. See, my zoo is so good the animals want to be there. Oh look, recycling. It does happen naturally. Decided to finally give in and give the people what they want. A route that doesn't go over the mountain. Apparently a dangerous animal has escaped. But I'm not seeing any broken... Oh, never mind. Over here. Is this what my zookeepers do? We're leaving animals outside the enclosures now? I'm not mad. I just feel like I should get a refund for this move. We've talked about this before. You're not supposed to be on the outside. See that? It knows. It runs right back in there. It knows the grass is greener on the inside of the enclosure. Probably should have fixed that with the elephant on the inside of the pen. And who'd have thought that people don't want to walk over a mountain to get to the animals? I have questions about why things like this are happening. There's clearly an animal in there, but it's just kind of abandoned on the stairs. Did my zookeepers die? Why are there boxes everywhere? I feel like this one might get out at some point, and in fact, I hope it does. As for you guys. Wait. I'm not allowed to keep people? What am I gonna do with a big electric pen? All the people needed was a little place to rest their legs. I don't really know what the people want because I don't even know what the animals want. I just lay stuff down until things either want them or don't want them. It's finally happened. After 80 hours, we finally have someone who's made it to our animals that isn't a protester or a worker. And now that she's here, she's already leaving because the animals really aren't that great. And my elephant, still just happy as a clam, He'll break his way back in there when he's ready to go home. Keeper has not attended Habitat in a long time. I really don't know why. My employees are so lazy. I guess they probably are pretty busy carrying animals around though. Cool, I didn't even know I had these things. I'm creating my own very diverse ecosystem. There's a man in here. We even have a man now. Or a woman. I'm not really sure. We have a person in here. You think people will like the occasional fountain everywhere? Rumor is, if your pens are made of glass, they can fill with stuff. Like, say, I don't know, water? And I feel a little bit bad that the animals are left out in the sun all day, so we're gonna give them a little water to balance their environment. The protesters think they're upset now. Wait till they see my aquarium in the desert. Pretty sure there's at least one amphibious animal somewhere in here. I wonder what this one was. That's better. The animals are gonna be so cool. Don't worry, this place is huge. It'll take forever to fill up with any water at all. How did these get out? Nobody escapes my dungeon. Except for that one that ran through the glass. Does yeah, somebody maybe want to do something about the panda that's scaring away the visitors. Ooh, I have a white giraffe. See, now this is going to be a problem. No one's going to enjoy my aquarium if you're running around here because they're all too scared. So there's a button you can push that just puts it into a large box. And I'm actually okay with having it here. People can probably see it through the cracks anyway. Somehow I've convinced 1300 people currently to visit my zoo. Apparently some of my animals are somehow dehydrated, which is really weird because they're basically swimming at this point. Now, for some reason, my aquarium seems to be failing. Not only is it not filling with water, but the animals, they're not doing so well. So I'm gonna need to rethink my design, but we'll get there. I think I've got an idea of how I can make this work. And it all starts with a little hole. Then we just need to make a little viewing area and make sure it's watertight. And then we need a small little pod just for the animals. Then I've just gotta add a little bit of water for now and I can even choose the elevation. It seems to be limiting me to about this tall, but I feel like that's probably going to be more than enough water for what I've got in mind. But I should also make sure there's a nice comfortable viewing area for everyone to watch. I mean, that'll work. Now I just need to be sure to put the interesting animals in there. That way people come to watch. It's all about the viewer. Now just a few final pieces to make sure people are comfortable. Which mostly just means a lot of coffee. Because everyone loves coffee with an aquarium. Now we'll just unpause and slowly wait for the animals to arrive. And also the people. See, it's working great. I knew people would love the coffee. And they're all going to get settled in pretty quick because there's going to be some pretty interesting animals in here. I doubt they're going to get along very well, but eh, that's okay. I feel like the quality of life is about to go downhill even more than it already has. What just happened? Why is a rhino falling from the sky? Oh, okay. I guess it's raining animals now. Oh, okay. That's a thing. Rhinos are supposed to be walking through the air. Anyways, now that we've got a little crowd gathered to see what's going on, we're going to go ahead and remove the door. And then also maybe one of these panels. 
Disrupts leg placement. Yes, that's the point. It doesn't really seem to want to let me disrupt the leg placement, and that's kind of a shame because I really need this water to take over the land. So far, I've managed to lower the boundary down to just about water level. Do we think rain is going to be enough to make it flood? I guess we'll find out soon. It doesn't really look like it yet, and all the viewers left because they don't want to get rained on. And it doesn't look like the water level is rising, so I need to come up with a better idea. Well, for now, to show the animals what they have to look forward to, I've simply placed one little fountain because I cannot yet find a way to make this work. It even tells you that glass walls are watertight. There's got to be a reason for that. And now the elephant is also floating up here. Here's my next idea. I'm going to cover the entire roof in bamboo floor. Hopefully the water will be able to soak through that somehow. And that doesn't work. The game clearly knows what I'm trying to do. It just won't let me put water with the animals. I'm managing to make the desert flood. But when it comes to my small watertight enclosure, not one drop of water to be found at the bottom. There are a few people in here. And the elephant's just busting out. I don't really blame it. I wouldn't want to be drowned here either. Well, you guys enjoy that while I figure this out. Does it need floor to be watertight on the bottom? That doesn't seem to be having too much of a difference either. This is also kind of interesting because if I place these, I lift the animals up with them. That could be fun for an idea in itself. Are pancake rocks watertight? They're definitely not by appearance, but I don't know if the game's gonna let me do this. Nope, it definitely knows what I'm up to. There's probably some workaround by tricking the game, but I'm definitely having trouble finding a way to make that work right now. I've tried many, many, many things. So I think for a climactic finish, we're gonna drop a rhino into this pool from 80 feet up. I'm not really sure how it is he wound up up here, but at least I can say in some small way I did break the game. Anyways, we're gonna unpause it and let him drop like a... Good Rhino. This game has a lot of potential, but there's still a few things I need to learn about it because it's hard to make things work. 